our ears, God, that we will receive the word, God, and we will apply it to our life, God. It won't just be another word, God, but we'll take it and apply it to our lives individually, God, in the name of Jesus, God, because it's a life-changing word, God. If we let it change our life, it'll change our lives. In the name of Jesus, God, we want to go higher in you, God, in the name of Jesus. We want to serve, serve to be higher, God, in the name of Jesus. We want to be you to be higher in our life in the name of Jesus. We want you to be priority in all we do, God, in the name of Jesus. That we won't make a move without you, God, in the name of Jesus. That's what we pray in the day, God. It's not about us. Crucify our flesh today, God. Crucify our flesh today, God. Crucify our flesh today, God. In the name of Jesus, God. That we can be one with you, God. Oh, God, you said in your word, if we draw close to you, you draw close to us, God. In the name of Jesus, God. So have your way, God. Do it for your glory, 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 God. In the name of Jesus, God.
Our first Sunday back into the house. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Amen. We're first Sunday back. We praise, thank God. We were out last Sunday getting the beat. Amen. Minister the souls. Amen. Amen. Oh, we just pray, God. Whatever you do, that's what we want to do. Whatever you say, do, that's what we want to do. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is good all the time. And if you'll find your word today in the book of Habakkuk. Amen. My prophet. Amen. Habakkuk. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. About what Jesus is doing. And we decided to be lifted up, amen. That young soul, amen. The God, that young man we prayed, and the other people we prayed for. Lord, we just pray, Lord God, that you continue to open doors, Father God, and lead us. Everybody to have us go, God. And so many, amen. That's important. But that is the, the heart of God. Amen. In the book of Habakkuk 3, amen. We're going to be coming from the second verse through the fifth verse for reading. Hallelujah. Thank you. For those who are standing at the reading of the word. And the word of the Lord says, O oh Lord, if you had to say amen. amen. O oh Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Yes. O oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known in wrath, remember mercy. Yes. God came from Timon and the Holy One from Mount Paran. Think about it. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. His brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand, and there was the hiding of his power. Hallelujah! You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah! Amen. One more verse I missed. I'm so sorry. Before him went the pit, pestilence and burning coals went forth at his feet. Yes. Amen. And you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. God is good. Amen. Amen. So we're talking about the anointing amid the last days. His anointing amid the last days. What you're going to need in the last days is his anointing. Yes. In the last days, we're going to, you won't be able to live it by your own. You're going to need some help. Amen. H-E-L-P, spell help, right? Amen. We need the anointing. I come this far by faith, leaning on the who? On the Lord. Amen. I was not leaning on Sarah. I was not leaning on flesh. I was leaning on my brother or mother. Even though she was pastor, I was leaning on the Lord. Amen. That's how we stay saved. Yeah, God. Leaning on the goodness of the Lord. Amen. I come up here to stay, Lord, the song says, until I die. Hallelujah. I come over here to stay. Amen. We didn't come over here, amen, to see what you had on and that one had on. We come over here to talk about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. Amen. And when I think about the goodness of God, I want to dance, 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 dance. dance, dance, dance. Amen. Prophet is Habakkuk. And he's asking God for mercy. Amen. In the midst of wrath. Amen. In the midst of judgment, Lord, remember mercy. Or midst of wrath, remember mercy. Because we know that Israel was cutting up. Amen. And, 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 and rejecting God. Amen. And, and so God had to come down in a theophany. Amen. God had to come down in the midst. Amen. Even though Israel was rejecting God. How many know that God does not reject us? And then we may leave God, but God does not leave us. And, and it says that in, in Greek, it, it means almost, it's spelled almost the same, but the I A at the end, it says theophania, which means the appearance of God. And so God came down, he appeared in the midst, amen, to let Israel know I love you, but that they were wrong. Amen. And God, amen, he doesn't throw us, he may chasten, because if you don't chasten you, then you become as what? Bastard. Amen. But he had to let them know that they were wrong. And so Habakkuk is praising God in the midst of the judgment. The prophet said, we ought to praise God. Yes. Oh, man. What the song said? His guy said, praise is what I do. Yes. Man, we ought to praise God in the midst. Yes. Somebody said, give him a sacrifice of praise. Yes. Amen. We, amen. we want to get close to God. Give him a sacrifice yes. of praise. 
things. And then it's not just what you can do, but what your spirit can do through you. Hallelujah. To touch the heart of God so that God will move on your condition. And then Israel was in a state where they were not pleasing God. And Habakkuk is acknowledging, even in the midst of that judgment, God's power and God's anointing. Hallelujah. How many know that you praise God? God can send to the current situation around. Hallelujah. I said, when you praise God, he can turn the whole situation around. Hallelujah. And then in the thing, hallelujah, Habakkuk, you know he talks about writing that thing, praying that thing, and Praying that thing, and as you pray and seek God, amen. And we know we do that every end of the year going to New Year. We write a letter to Jesus, amen. amen. And God works it out. So let's run over to the book of Isaiah, amen. A major prophet in the 65th chapter, hallelujah. Glory to God. Isaiah, too, is acknowledging God for his goodness and, and witnessing the blessing of the Lord. Now, you know, one thing I love about God, he always gives a refreshing. No matter what you go through, he'll give you a refreshing. Hallelujah. He knows how to encourage you. Lift your head up. Amen. He, he said, he said, be lifted up your everlasting doors. Amen. And then who shall come forth? The king of glory shall come forth. Amen. In Isaiah 65 and 8. Amen. I'm going to go to 65 and 8. Hallelujah. And the word of the Lord says, thus says the Lord. Amen. I'll wait till some people get there. Amen. 36 and 8. Amen. It says, if you haven't, say amen. 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 65 and 8 says, Thus says the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster. And one says, one says, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servants' sakes, that I may not destroy them all. First it is noted that there has been a rejection of the Jews due to their obstinance. Now, this is me talking. Due to their obstinance or their stubbornness, their rebelliousness. Talking about still that in the state of mind that Israel was in. Amen. Backslidden. And they're also their unbelief. Because at this point in time, you know, Israel did not receive Jesus. They rejected Jesus. Amen. As a prophet. Even though Isaiah is an Old Testament prophet, how many know they talk forward? Amen. But there shall be a remnant saved. Oh, God's going to save Israel, even though they're rejecting Christ. He said, this means that God has not cast away his people. Amen. There is no, amen, a, 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 a religion or a belief that we have in this church that God is through with Israel. Amen. 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 We're not doing replacement theory here. And then Jesus is still, amen, oh, God is still in love with Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. That's still his wife. Hallelujah. Even though and the God set up hope, Hosea told Mary Gomer to show Israel how you backslide on me right. and how you two time in me. Yeah. And then God does not like us to two time him. Right. God said, I will have no other gods before me. Yeah. Amen. No girlfriends on the side, no boyfriends on the side. Amen. Yeah. Just you and God. Amen. Yeah. And so when Israel begins to backslide, God sends word through his prophet. Yeah. And here we have Isaiah saying, Amen. That Amen. God is still married to. Amen, Israel. And so there is another meaning here I want to bring out, though. That is the scope of Isaiah. But I want to bring out also about the new wine. Because it's relative to the anointing in that verse. The new wine in the Old Testament, it means earthly prosperity. Earthly prosperity. Amen. Or a token of the blessing of God, with which one prospers, which prospers one with wealth. Amen. So God wants to prosper us. Amen. amen. God wants you to have more to put in store. Amen. God wants you to have, amen, a spiritual prosperity, a supernatural prosperity. Yes. Amen. Not just natural prosperity. Yes. There is supernatural prosperity that you receive from the bowels of heaven when you tap into the heavenlies. Yes. Amen. Tithing is one way. Amen. Giving. And they're giving all, like they've got that first fruit offering at the beginning of the year. And then there's several types of offerings throughout the year. And then as you tithe and give, that opens up the door for supernatural wealth. And then supernatural prosperity. Hallelujah. It keeps the door open. Hallelujah. For more to come in. For more to put in store. And then God wants to bless. Amen. And then aside from the prosperity, hallelujah, is the anointing. Amen. We want the anointing of God. Let's talk about the anointing. The, the new wine comes from the teaching 
uh, of their first coming a crushing yes, yes. and the pressing of grapes. He said, well, Dr. Sarah, I don't like how that sounds. Amen. This is how it goes. Amen. If you want a rose, you want to smell the true essence of a rose, it has to be crushed. It has to be pressed. And there's how you get the perfume or the true fragrance of the rose. In the Old Testament, we know that Jesus had, there was a magi that came to see him. And they came with three particular gifts in recorded history, the gold, the frankincense, and the myrrh. Right. And the myrrh is something that they put in the anointing oil that makes a sweet-smelling fragrance. How many know that when we pray to God, we are a sweet-smelling fragrance unto God? And how many know that, get this, when you go through different trials and tribulation, you are and become a sweet-smelling fragrance in the nose of God. Hallelujah! Glory to God! That means you become anointed. Oh, somebody say anointed. 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 Some people say, I want the flash and the glimmer and the glam. Well, you can't get that without the going through. Oh, Amen. I hate to say it. No, 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 no trials, no pressing, no going through, the no anointing. If you want that anointing, you got to go through a bit. You got to stay up late and stay in the word. You got to fast so that you can last. You got to pray so that you can stay. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. So, amen. It's not all that it looks like. It's not all glamorous. 
because of the peers. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. But there's some brick in this thing. Yeah. There's some going through in this thing. Oh, yeah. If you don't fast, you don't last. Yeah. If you don't pray, you don't stay. If you don't hang on to the horns of the altar. Yeah. And we talked about Jesus. I, 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 I prayed about that still. He said, out of his hand, yeah. out of his hand was coming out the horn. He had horns coming out of his head. Oh, when you begin to think about that sounds like power, but when you begin to think about how he was crucified, uh, you look at the passion of Christ, but can you ever look at more when you look at that, amen, Jesus of Nazareth, uh, and you begin to see how they pounded his hands, uh, with the nails in his hands, uh, and how they point, he said, not almost shot, how he screamed because of the pain of the nail going through his head, uh, but he took it, uh, he took it because he loved us, uh, because of the anointing, uh, he was able to take that pain, uh, and he took the pain willingly, uh, and, but because of the pain, uh, it got, he got an exchange, uh, there was an exchange in the spirit, uh, and he suffered a while, uh, what the Bible says, I'll sell you, uh, I'll establish you, uh, I'll make you perfect, uh, he, uh, that anointing came out of his head, uh, that looked like horns, uh, what does a horn mean, uh, to exact, uh, to They just being uh, 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 proud or arrogant. No, it's authoritative. Huh? Because they know for a surety huh? in whom you believe. Huh? I know huh, that my redeemer lives. Huh? And I know huh, in whom I have believed. Huh? I know huh, I can go to the rock. Huh? I know that that rock is Christ. Huh? Oh, Christ is solid rock. Huh? I stand huh? Church that needs the crushing. 
Oh, Rabbi, it's indicative of the end time. Ha, We're going to go to the 8th verse. Hallelujah. You read down to the 11th verse. My very first message was back on the 4th verse, but I'm going to skip over to the 8th verse. Amen. And the 8th verse says, And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, right? These things say of the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. It's blasphemy when they lie. But are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou what faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And he that heareth, and he that hath an ear, rather, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And he that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Amen. God said, you're not going to the second death. Huh? If you live for Christ, you die once. Hallelujah. If you die at all in this world. Amen. Because before you go to, if, 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 amen. If you, because the Bible says the dead in Christ will rise first. So if you are still here, amen, and you caught up in the rapture, amen, you're not going to die. Amen. You just get out of automatically with Jesus, amen, you'll be raptured up. But if you happen to die, like how Pastor Dixon died, then it says that you won't have to go through a second death. Yeah. Amen. For those who don't die in Christ, there is a second death. Yes, you yes. go from the physical death state into where is an eternal death. Amen. We're not going there. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We're not going there. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Don't let sure everybody say you're going to death. Yeah. Amen. But the Bible said, Amen. And unto the angel of the church, right. Now, what is Smyrna? Smyrna, hallelujah. Let me read that over in my word of explanation. I, mean, I brought us Myrna, and I talked about that all day. In Greek, it means myrrh. Again, talking about that anointing or that spice that was put in the fragrance, and then that was once crushed. It comes from the Greek word myrrh. That means I studied it over and over and over. That's why I hate me yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it, 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 it's, it's, it's a fragrance. And all of these things, mind you, that were given to Jesus, the gold, you know, showing up is expensive. Frankincense, look it up, it's showing up expensive. And so also is yeah. myrrh, very expensive. And so this was given to Jesus by way of a fragrant that was put in anointing oil. And it says one of the three kings presented Jesus with this gift when he was a baby. And man, baby, Jesus received it from them. Amen. And so we know that myrrh represents the crushing or this, and, it's, and, it's, and it's, it's pressed. Amen. But how many know that that's indicative of our trials? And I don't know why I'm going through this. Amen. I've been tithing all my life. I've been praying in the church. I've been fasting to last. I've been praying to stay. And I've been faithful at church. Why am I going through what I'm going through? It's because of the crushing. Just like he said in Smyrna. Amen. And when God gave this message to the, 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 the churches, amen, he was telling them, amen, that this is before the end time. Amen. Even in that time, amen, they were looking forward to coming of Christ. Amen. Those who believe in Christ. Amen. But God lets you know, amen, that it's not over till it's over. Right. Trials and tests may come for a little while, right. but at the while, payday is coming at the while. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not always a bad day. It's not always going to be on the dark side. Amen. Jesus is going to turn it around. Amen. Before you go down, you're going to go up. Hallelujah. Or you can't go down before going up. Hey. Amen. Over the book of Psalms 50. Hallelujah. Amen. In the, in the Psalms 50. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord said in his word. Hallelujah. This part was getting me. I was studying as I was studying and studying. Putting this message in my spirit for a week and a half. And as I was studying this message, amen, this just really got my attention. Amen. When God said this. And I'm going to share this with you. Amen. Isaiah 50 and 2. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalms. Did I say Psalms? I'm sorry. Psalms 50 and 2. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to be in Psalms a minute. Amen. Psalms 50 and 2. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. It said, out of Zion, the perfection of beauty. Just that alone. Out of Zion, the perfection 
of beauty. God hath shined. Let that sink in. Mind you, put your mind still on the anointing. We're not talking about Maybelline, Fashion Fair, Cover Girl. <laughs> if I miss anything else, L'Oreal. <laughs> We're talking about the anointing of God. Out of Zion. Perfect. Remember, everything about God is perfect. His number, he even, he even has a number to, to explain perfection. Number seven, hallelujah, that nothing missing, nothing broken. Yes. In the anointing is total perfection. And Zion is his city that he loves. Jerusalem is Zion. His city that he loves. In other words, he loves his people, backslidden or not. He loves us. Amen. That's why Jesus said, I'm married to the what? Backsliding. He said, I'm still married to the Hey, I haven't thought of love with y'all. Hallelujah. And so it said, but in order to get to that anointing, it has to be perfected. Amen. And for anything to be perfected, think about it when you were in school. In order to matriculate, you had to pass those tests. I took this first spelling test. I got a D on it. Oh, that ain't good. Got a D. Can I take it over? Yes, you can take it over. Moved it up to a C. I wasn't pleased. I said, can I take it over? I'm not saying for real, but I'm saying that's in case. Because I've seen it done. And it is still done. Amen. But students that don't know what they're doing, the teacher will let them keep taking it till they get it right. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the grace of God. Amen. Yes. The grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. That's a heat that's on here too. Praise God. Amen. So that anointing has to be perfect. Amen. It comes through trials, it comes through tribulations. It's the crushing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now if you think of Jesus, Jesus did not have to go through any trials, trials, or tests. And then, but he went through suffering. Yeah. Isaiah calls him the suffering savior. It seemed like his whole life, amen, from the time that he announced that he was on the on the uh, on the stage as the son of God, he began to suffer. They began to persecute him. But the greater the persecution, the greater the miracles, the greater the glory of God. And then he laid hands, and sometimes he didn't even have to lay hands. He just spoke. And it was. Hallelujah. That's a perfect, that's the anointing of God. And it says, God hath shined. God shines is what? His glory. His omnipotent glory. Hallelujah. And then coming over to 90. Psalms 90. We're going to talk about how to get into that place of the anointing. Psalms 90. And go down with me to a man. Oh, the 15th. No, let's start at the 14th verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it says, Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad how all our days. Hallelujah. Because, Lord, there's some days that we go through and some days that we don't. So okay. make us glad all our days, yeah. through our good days and our bad days. Yeah. Like the song we used to sing, I've had some good days, I had some hills to climb. Hold on, my but make us glad, God. And then it says, make us glad, according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us. Look at the trials, yea, when thou hast afflicted us. And the years, come on, where we have seen evil, God. There's some stuff I saw that just wasn't right. Amen. Everybody in their own perspective places has their own trials, has their own trials and tribulations. Shout out. Hey, but then comes the anointing. Huh? The trials come and make you strong. Huh? You're not going through for nothing. Huh? But yeah, in Christ, I can do all I can do what? All things. Hallelujah. And he says that make us glad according to days when we have when you have afflicted us in years when we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants. Your work, your work, God. You know what we're doing, what we're working with is not my work, God is your work. <laughs> Let it appear unto thy servants huh? and thy glory huh, unto their children. Huh? You see, now what you go through huh, is 
is not just for you. Uh, but when you come through uh, the house of one of your children, uh, they shall receive an impartation. They shall receive a glory uh, because of how you've already suffered. Uh, you're not suffering for your own, uh, but it's a domino effect. Uh, you see, that's like that one scene uh, that I caught a Wednesday night Bible study. Uh, and except the seed falls to the earth and die. Uh, except it die, and it shall do what? Bring forth. Uh, Take the supernatural. 
getting hold of the supernatural mantle in these last days. Fasting alone won't do it. Praying alone won't do it. But staying fixed, staying fixed, no matter what. I didn't have a mailbox moment when I saw what happened to the window. <laughs> That's just well, that means we did something good to the, for the Father. Amen? Amen. Amen? Hallelujah. It says, so that the priest could not stand. I'm in 5 and 14. What did I say? 5 and 14. Amen. And let me go. Hmm. Uh, let me go above. I got to go above. 13. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I missed yes. it. Uh -huh. And it's so much even above that, but I have to cut it off a little bit. So 13. It says, and it came to pass. And y'all gonna see how this kind of coincides with the Sunday school lesson, as I told last week. It came even to pass as the trumpeters and singers. See, that's why the devil hates us when we don't praise God. Mm -hmm. God loves praise. As the trumpeters and singers were as one to make one sound to be heard and praising and thanking the Lord. Yes. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music yes. and praise the Lord, for he is good. Yes. For his what? His mercy. Yes. Hiya, yes. Endure forever. Yes. And I love that song that it repeats it. And his mercy endures forever. And his mercy endures forever. Yes. Hallelujah. That, hallelujah, that then the house was filled with a cloud. It was filled with a cloud because of the what? Praise. You see, that's a trick of the enemy. They don't like to have musicians come and worship with us. Amen. That's a trick of the enemy because God and what he inhabits or God lives in, God dwells in the praises of his people. Hallelujah. But to God be the glory. I'm going to be obedient even if I can't get nobody to be obedient with me. I'm gonna be obedient. I'm not talking about our musician here. He's obedient. I'm talking about others that were invited. Hey, right. God. Right. He said, even the house, let's read that again. That then the house was filled with the cloud. Yes. yes. Even the house oh. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you worship oh. him. Hallelujah. And there's some songs, amen, that are considered angelic songs amen, that we haven't even wrote them yet. No, no musicians have wrote them yet, but you can sing them even like you sing a tongue. And when we enter in, hallelujah, the presence of God comes down. The presence of God comes down. And the blessings come along with the presence of God. When we lift up the name of Jesus, when we praise the name of Jesus, that's why I learned to sing that song, anointing. Matthew 10 and 8. 
This is what would be the reaction or another outcome of the anointing. He says, heal the sick. 10 and 8. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Cast out devils. Freely ye have received. Freely give. This is what we are praying for. This is what we are working for. Believing God for. Oh, rather I'm waiting to receive for. Anointing fall on me. Oh, get ready for communion.
God, we want to be whole. Yes. And we love everyone, God. We, have, we don't, there's nobody in our heart and our minds that I can think of that I hate. Nobody. I know nobody else has yes. hating or hurt for anyone in here. And if we do, forget, oh, God, wash us, forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Yes. Make us ready, God. Forgive us. Let's just come right now. We be not ready. All right. So, and when he had given things, okay, let me go back. For I have received the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given things, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. This do remembrance of me. Eat, eat, all of you. This be as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Drink me all of it. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died. Bless you all. Shalom in Jesus' name.